Listen up Rangers, welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Ernest. And today in this unimportant review, we have the Playmates Godzilla x Con the new Empire Shimo with Frostbite's Blast. Shimo? Shimo. This is the newest kaiju from the new movie. We don't know really much about it other than it's an ice monster. And then some stuff that I've overheard. But it sounds like like the, there's the, the secret like super scary monster in the movie and this is it. Really? Yep. It looks like a dog. It's like dog, lizard, crystal monster thing. Oh, that's why Godzilla breaks out of crystals. I got you. Maybe maybe it freezes Godzilla in the crystals and then Godzilla's like, evolve radiation gamma things. Maybe shoots out some kind of radiation and he absorbs it. Yeah, like the ice is also radiation. But... Anyways, for the back of the package, if you, since we're already at this point, uh, just tells you about the frostbite, a little bit of information about them, other things in the line, got some Lincoln Mumbo Jumbo's under bottoms, more or less, mostly the same stuff. Sounds like Arnaz wants to I want to read the backstory now, I'm sorry guys. Yeah, right? But anyways, uh, the main reason I picked it up was just, uh, it's a new kaiju, so I figured it'd be good to do for the channel. Uh, that and also now I got something for Casey to play with, especially when the new movie comes out. And then she'll hopefully leave my stuff alone. Whoa. Hopefully. It says world ending powers. Yeah, he's a super scary kaiju. So he's stronger than King Ghidorah? Probably. Oh, we're hammering this guy. No! <laughs> oh, we're hammering this guy. I was going to say, he'd be. <laughs> Pound <Take> me, <laughs> daddy. <laughs> well, anyways, I know we do have to get some of these for. We definitely gotta do some hammer. Oh videos. yeah. But anyways, for its ice blast effect, it is a little bit different than what we had with the evolved Godzilla, which we haven't actually reviewed yet. Because so far it's just been all right. Let's hand me an empty box. We'll do that video. Yeah. Actually, it looks kind of neat. The ice blast does. Yeah, and also because it way it pegs in is there's this rod here, and it goes straight up into that mouth, and you just. Insert up, that goes around, goes. Gotcha. and then now it kind of looks like it's blasting along the face here, which is kind of neat. I like the effort they put in. Yeah, as I say, overall not bad. It's a little smaller, but to be expected. That's like in comparison <laughs> to the one Godzilla we got here, his beams a like just a little bit bigger. And to be honest, it's probably about the same, all things considered. It's better. <clears throat> It's got a little more girth to it. It's also translucent blue plastic. Just like eh, the spines here. Which I actually really appreciate that detail. Where it's translucent here and on the head. It gives it this nice kind of crystally glow to it. This actually makes me feel a little bit better. Because at first I thought this was just going to be a pushover monster. No, he's like the big bad booty monster. Yeah. So I feel a little better going into this movie. Yeah, it's it sounds like it's possible. It's like Scar's trump card, or whatever. Why does Scar control it? Scar sucks. Yeah, that's where we got away from the movie. That's not acceptable. I want answers now. No. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a pretty big jaw articulation. It goes full ninety degrees. Oh, on the high note though, the teeth are painted, also pretty nicely defined. Oh, they are a little yellow. I just noticed that. Not too much with the ton, though. What more? Nothing you on the roof of the mouth because that's where the effects piece is. Detailing on the head, the scales look good. The only thing that kind of sucks is the top part that connects to the crystals. It's closet. It's very smooth. There's a little bit here, but we got that PlayStation 2 kind of fidelity there. <laughs> While on the stomach, it's got a little bit more detailing. Still a little bit smooth, but you can see the armor plating for the stomach and chest here it's got a little bit more detailing arms and legs look good as they usually do on these figures they got a lot more of the detailing going on it's got the four toes i almost kind of wish he was walking on his knees though just to kind of angry like angerous baragon <laughs> like him like him being on all fours kind of bugs me a little bit it does have a weird arch to him it's also weird how it just like smooths out toward like he just gets like really skinny. Like he's got like that sick coyote kind of look to it. He does. 
And he's got a tail. It's got a thragmatizer, or thragmizer, thragomizer, whatever you call the stegosaurus thing. He's got something on I'm it. I'm not pronouncing it wrong. The Godzilla has the same thing going on, too, so it's kind of weird that, like, all the kaijus now have little claw spiky, whippy tails. But the spikes on the tail are just painted. They are airbrushed on. But nice thing is at least the color matches really well. Actually, so it's not super distracting. It's pretty good. But like rest of the monster is just bland. Yeah, it's just it's white all the time. It's kind of funny that like you get the you get like the albino kaiju and the ginger kaiju. They team up together. Are the villains? <laughs> <laughs> We're like we got skin, <laughs> skin deficiencies. Let's go. <laughs> but for his articulation, head can look up and down. Probably the best head pose ability out of all of them for sure. Yeah, because it could also rotate. Like I mentioned, the jaw goes full ninety degrees. Arm can rotate all the way around and it's on a hinge, so it can go inwards and outwards. Feet can rotate. Legs go forward and back. Nothing at the knees back here. Feet rotate as well. And at the tail, it's on a ball joint. So, spin that around. Nice little wiggle to it. Nothing too crazy. It looks pretty good. Yeah, overall, it's solid. Again, if you got kids that are super excited about it, they're in the kaijus. These things are really great, especially for 10 bucks. I don't think you really do much better. Detailing solid. If you guys want something a little bit more posable, a little bit more detailing. I'm hard pressed to believe that higher monster arts isn't going to be making a version of this guy or even just a Bandai vinyls. You don't think so? No, I do think they'll. Oh, okay. Well, uh, oops, back to the camera. If anything, there we go. I would think monster arts. I, I'd be surprised if they didn't make it, but then again, I wouldn't be that surprised if they didn't make it. If he is the main, main bad guy, I'm sure he'll be. Remember, we didn't get Mudos. Oh my god, yeah, that is true. Like, they've only ma they've only ever made the Kaijus that also had some tie-in with Toho. Oh, yeah. This guy, Scar, can't have no tie-ins to Toho, so there's no guarantee that we're not just going to get Godzilla and Kong, they call it a day. So you guys make sure you grab this. <laughs> but I, the way High has been going, I would assume at least they would. Like, I'd be surprised if Monster Arts didn't make it. I hope so. Or even just in terms of Bandai vinyls. But anyways, help us defeat those guys. Just by hitting that like button. Subscribe, become a ranger today. We also got Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, Facebook. Guys, like you today with channel, donate greatly. would appreciate it. Again, these go up on our Patreon in advance. Also, you guys like to get some Godzilla collectibles for yourself. Link in the description for Entertainment Earth. Help support channel. Get yourself some toys. Anyways, see you guys next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.